Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the pain from Pune. This is yet another video for the Mojo and uh, you must have seen my past vlogs where I've uh, in multiple videos I've shown that I've changed all the filters um, and I got the throttle body also cleaned. Now throttle body was cleaned at SK Auto Care uh, for the initial 2-3 kilometers the bike ran really smooth but after that again the issues uh, for you know uh, the engine missing started uh, again so this is my old uh, lambda sensor i think this is what they called based on the service manual of the based on the parts catalog of the mojo and it is also the oxygen sensor is also called the oxygen sensor so i've already replaced that with uh, another working mojo's uh, part but still it not solve my issue the missing issue no, uh, to explain the meshing issue, uh, it feels as if uh, there are two spark plugs and only one is working or it's working or it is giving alternate sparks or as if uh, there is low fuel supply or as if the engine is turning off on alternate sparks. It feels like that and it is very prominent at around uh, 3000 RPM approximately and 6000 6, RPM. So that is where you know it feels like the uh, accelerator is turning turning off or something. It does not misfire, you know, no loud exhaust uh, shots from the exhaust. Uh, but uh, I feel the roughness in the engine. Also, the fuel efficiency has been really really bad. I think around uh, in around uh, 300 kilometers, I've consumed 1500 rupees of petrol. Uh, I'm telling you 1500 rupees of petrol because uh, I filled it thrice with 500 liters I mean 500 rupees ka petrol and it gets consumed within 80 to 100 kilometers uh, which includes highway as well as uh, city mileage now I'm not exactly sure how much is the mojo mileage I've not calculated that with thankful to thankful so I might be wrong at that please excuse me for that but today what we're going to try and do is uh, this is my old sensor my bike's old sensor and uh, i'm going to clean it with uh, throttle body cleaner and uh, wd-40 uh, these are the two uh, cleaners that i found on internet being used a lot people use clean it with uh, hot water and uh, some detergent also uh, along with some brushes some have tried with just hot water and removed all the deposits uh, so i'm going to try that uh, with the wd-40 and throttle body cleaner some people have used uh, brake cleaners also and they've shown in the vlogs but i'm going to simply try wd-40 and throttle body cleaner which is i've got at home and i'm going to try and dip it in this small container and see what happens next i'm going to first start with wd-40 cleaning the external surface and I'm going to use a soft metal brush so the external body of the sensor uh, you know has been cleaned okay now it's the internal turn where I'll uh, spray it with this throttle body cleaner and this is from Abro that I got and we're going to spray it directly inside the holes over here and I'm also going to collect the throttle body cleaner in the cap below and in the end I'm going to dip this sensor in that cap so that uh, it takes some time and you know dissolves all the carbon deposits on the sensor once it is uh, it's gone inside for now and you can see that uh, the sensor holes are you know uh, dipped inside and we'll wait for you know 15 20 minutes or a couple of hours and then uh, clean it with cloth and blow air from the holes so that all dirt comes out and then uh, try it on the bike it's been 15 20 minutes and it's almost brownish now i added a little bit of uh, 
petrol also i guess half color is of that but um, i'm going to now put a thin wire in it this is a, a household fuse wire okay very thin and try to dislodge any you know carbon deposits inside and then we'll spray it once more with the car cleaner and check it on the bike we're going to check in this corner you know if any uh, dirt comes out now that will be carbon deposits mainly nothing much nothing major we can see small spots but nothing major try to clean with this metal brush deep inside the holes i try to you know put a few bristles inside and clean it let's see now at least if it if it gets any dirt out again nothing much so i'm going to dry it out completely now and then check it on the bike looks almost clean but again can't identify with the naked eye let's see how it performs on the bike itself now to access the sensor in uh, bs4 mojo you need to remove this one this uh, cover first it's a cover actually it's holding the nut behind one there's a two screws here one screw over here third one over fourth one over here fifth one at the top and this thing will come out and you'll get access to the sensor which is somewhere around inside there you also need to remove the complete uh, coolant reservoir and then you'll get access to the sensor unzip the sensor holder i mean sensor cable holder remove the sensor wire and then remove the sensor with a 17 number spanner and take it out this is the sensor that i had uh, picked up from another mojo and this is mine and the old one goes back into the bike over here sensor is back in place and the wiring is also done now i'll put the radiator reservoir back in place and then take a small ride and test uh this too did not solve the problem there was less fuel in the bike so i added uh, exactly 5 liters of uh, power fuel from the hp petrol pump nearby and how much did they charge yeah 563 5 liters exact and i added the uh, polytron in the petrol before leaving from here and i rode around 3 kilometers right now but no help it is still uh, dropping the rpms it is still engine is still missing spark is still missing spark plug has also been cleaned and uh, changed everything is done all filters are new uh, i think the last resort that uh, sushant had suggested me was you know i should get the uh, complete uh, ecu reflashed so maybe i'll visit the service center and uh, if they have an option i'll get the ecu flashed by the way the there's a sensor light which is not going at all and this started coming after i replaced the tps sensor and uh, it's still not gone uh, i'd gone to the mojo service camp and there they had washed this bike after washing it had gone but while coming back from uh, there and by the time i reached home the sensor had started again so this bike is a bit mystery from me uh, if anyone else knows the issue and a solution for it for the missing please uh, let me know in the comments i'll try it out
They've slipped out of my control and you know where they hide. Mm-hmm. Your love's a little heavy, you're touching me already and it's working up my nerves. You should probably forget me cause I'm terrified you'll get me when I'm at